Hi everyone, welcome to your quick mobility class. This is a general flow, so we'll hit hips, we'll hit shoulders, we'll hit spine. These mobility classes are great to do on an active recovery day, um, or you could do them as an extended warm up or cool down for another workout, so they're pretty versatile. Let's start in a comfortable cross-legged position. No equipment is needed. We're just gonna start with a fluid side bend just to kind of get things moving. So one arm is gonna sweep up and over, and then you'll just take it to the other side. As you come through center, think of growing tall, and then side bend. One more each side. and then come through center, arms reach out in a T. From here, we're just gonna gently twist side to side. On an exhale, you're gonna twist. Inhale through center, exhale other direction. Inhale through center. So the twist is originating from your spine and the arms just follow, okay? So we're not just moving the arms. Now, next time you twist over to the left, I want you to hold the twist. I want you to bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee, and let's trace some arm circles with that back left arm. I'm doing it with a bent elbow so I don't hit my couch, but you could keep the arm straight. Switch direction of the circle. Now let's stretch those arms back out in a T, come through center. Exhale, you're gonna twist over to the right. Staying in this twist, you're going to take your left hand to the outside of the right knee, and let's trace some arm circles with that back right arm. You can trace the circles with your elbows or you can keep that arm straight. Switch direction of the circles. Let's stretch those arms back out in a T. We're gonna come through center, and then I want you to bring the arms forward. Now we're gonna shift the focus into the hips. Now I want you to take your right foot and make sure that it is in front of your left foot in this cross position. We're gonna lift this front right foot up, and we're gonna rotate, and we're gonna swing it back and plant it on the floor. So now it's pointing in the opposite direction. We're just gonna keep doing that. We lift it off the floor, we swing it forward and rotate, plant it down in that kind of starting cross-legged position, stay on the same leg. So it's okay to lean a little bit, especially because we are just waking up the hips here, okay? We'll get into some really isolated, small detailed hip movement coming up, but for now, a little bit of leaning is absolutely fine. Now that being said, I don't need to lean all the way over to do that, all right? I want as much of the movement isolated in the hip joint as possible. One more full rep and then we'll hold back. So next time this right leg goes back, you're going to hold it back. Now I want you to take your left fingertips and I want you to tent them out to the side and you can lean over to the left slightly, okay? And now from here, I want you to lift this leg, reach it long and up to a small hover and we're just gonna pulse it back and forward a couple inches. Focus on that pulse back, trying to get open through the front of your hip joint at your farthest point back, and then forward just a couple inches. Now you are pulsing back, squeezing into your glutes, not arching into your lower back. This leg does not have to be at a super high hover. Mine is literally like two millimeters off the ground. Pulse back, squeeze it back. And again, a little lean over to the side, absolutely fine. Depending on how open or tight through the hips you are, you might need a big lean to the side to get this leg to hover, or you might be fairly upright. Now we're gonna switch up the movement. We're gonna hold it back. We're gonna find some internal to external rotation. It's gonna be tough. So next time you press it back, hold, flex through the ankle. Now just gonna do a tight rotation of this right thigh bone. Knee is gonna tap the floor, and then you're gonna rotate. Heel is gonna tap the floor. So the thigh bone is twisting internal, external. Knee to floor, woo, heel to floor. When you tap the knee or the heel to the floor, don't transfer weight into it, it's just a light little tap. Tap, woo. We're gonna hold internal rotation coming up next, and we're gonna pulse up and back, kind of like we're trying to kick someone behind us. Not that you would wanna kick anyone. <laughs> Next time you go internal rotation, so that's knee to floor, pause. And then from here, I want you to point at the ankle and it's a little pulse up and back, up and back. 
very similar to what we did at the start, but you are internally rotated. So think knee to floor, up and back. You are not hyperextending into your lower back. So brace to the abdominals as you do this. Woo, almost there. Give me four, three, two, one. And I want you to plant that leg down. From here, let's start by taking counter stretch. So I want, I'm just gonna have to scoot over. So you, I want you to take your left arm, sweep it up and over. Now, as we side bend over to the left, I want you to plant that left hand down. We're gonna come up on this bottom left knee into kind of a side tabletop, and we're gonna straighten out this right leg. And then we're just going to reverse it. You're going to bend at the right knee as the hips hinge back, lower down into that starting position, side bend over to the right. We take it over to the left, coming up on the left knee, straightening through that right leg. We bend, so kind of kick the heel in towards your bum. Back down. So keep moving like this. Two more, and then we'll hold in that kind of side tabletop or side plank variation, whatever you want to think of it as. So next time you come up, I want you to hold here. I want you to flex through this right ankle and I want you to plant the right foot on the ground and then we're going to twist. Keep your hips exactly as they are. I just want the twist to be mid spine and up. You're going to exhale and you're going to bring this right hand to tap the floor by the left. Inhale, open back up. And then I want you to take that right leg, lift it, and lower to the floor, keep going in the combo. Twist, keeping the hips stacked, open. Top leg lifts and lowers. One more full rep, and then we're gonna transition into a tabletop. I want you to twist. I want you to pause in that twist, grow long through the spine. And then from here, let's just bring that right knee down so that we're coming into a tabletop position. Now we're gonna shift the focus into shoulder work for a little bit. Let's make sure knees are under hips and I want you to spread out through the hands. Now from here, I want you to take your left arm and I want you to reach it forward, palm faces into midline, thumb is up. Now we're gonna stabilize through our right hand. So I want you to push the mat away so you are stable through the shoulder. We're not sinking down into it, that is important. All right, now with this left arm, you're gonna start by lifting it up so the bicep is by your ear. Now you're gonna to start to sweep it down and back to the side. And as you do, you're gonna flip your palm. So now your thumb points down to the floor, palm still in towards midline. And then you're just gonna reverse it. Start to sweep it up and forward, rotating, thumb points up, tap it to the mat, lift it back up. Now your goal as you go through this is to not roll the shoulder forward. So we're staying broad across the collarbones. And we don't want to flare open through the rib cage and sink into our lower back. So we're trying to maintain a neutral spine. So your arm is only as high as you can maintain that neutral spine. So that might mean maybe you only lift it like six inches off the floor, okay? Don't worry so much about height. We're working towards a hand that is a little higher than our shoulders, but we might not be there yet and that's okay. Two more and then we're gonna hold it back. It's a slow controlled rotation. All right, now next time that hand is back, I want you to pause. So your thumb is pointing down, your hand is towards midline. Now from here on an exhale, you're gonna brace to the core. You're gonna take your opposite right foot and you're going to lift it off the mat or lift that knee off the mat and you're gonna grab that foot in your left hand, all right? Now, without completely sinking into your lower back, I want you to create some pressure by pushing your foot out like a little kick so it's gonna cause the hand to lift up a little bit. Now, a little extension in your lower back is okay, but we are not going to make it excessive. Hold here for four, for three, a little stretch, two, one. 
I want you to lower the knee down, lower the hand down, and then I want you to cross at the ankles, shift your hips back, and we're gonna start that from the top on the other side. So we're coming to a cross-legged position. I'm just gonna turn so that I'm facing you. And this time, I want you to take the left foot and have it in front of your right. So let's reach our arms forward. And it's okay if there's a little rocking side to side, but we wanna keep most of the movement within the hip joint. You're going to lift this left leg, and you're gonna swing it behind you, placing it on the ground so now it's going at an opposing angle. Lift it up and return it to the start. So think about exhaling, connect to your core, then lift the leg. So a little lean is fine, but if we're really engaged through our core, it's gonna minimize it. and it's gonna help us avoid compensating so that we're not just totally crunching into the side body. We'll do one more full rep and then we're gonna hold it back, get into those small little micro movements that don't look a lot, like a lot, but they're sure challenging. All right, next time that leg goes back, we're gonna hold it back. All right, now you're going to take your right fingertips and you're gonna plant them on the floor so that we can lean a little bit over to the right on this one, okay? And then from here, we're going to exhale, lift this leg to just the smallest hover, and it's a little pulse back, back. So when you pulse it back, I want you to open through the front of the hip. It can come forward a little bit, but really focus on that press back. And the press back is coming by firing through your glutes, and we're also working through the outer hips. It's not by arching into your lower back, okay? So core is staying engaged, spine at neutral. How far you're leaning to the side kind of just depends on how open or tight you are through the hips. There's no wrong answer, okay? We're gonna hold it back, we're gonna find rotation up next. I like don't know what to do with this hand. <laughs> I'll just place it here to remind myself to stay engaged to the core. Next time you press back, hold, and I want you to flex through the ankle. Now we're gonna rotate. Internal, knee to floor. External, heel to floor. It's just a tiny little tap. Now as you do this, I don't want the leg to be in front here. I really want it to be back, so I want you to stay as open through the front of this hip joint as possible. If it's a little flexed, if that leg wants to come a little forward, don't stress it, but it should absolutely be behind this right foot. We'll hold internal up next. We'll pulse back and up. In three, whoo, two, last full rep. Now hold internal, so knee to floor, point through the ankle, and then it's a little pulse up and back, that slight little angle. Sorry, I gotta scoot forward. So it's kind of knee to floor, up, slight diagonal, up and back, up and back, eight more. Give me four. Three, shin comes down in two. Last one, plant that chin down and let's take a counter stretch. So left fingertips tent, right sweeps over. All right, so we're gonna come from this position into the side tabletop. And a little tip, when you start to side bend over to the right, plant your hand in line with this knee and that is gonna bring you into this really nice open hip position. It'll be in the right alignment at the top, okay? And then you're going to bend this left heel in towards your butt as the hips go back, and we sit into our starting position, counter stretch, a little side bend, up and open. Keep moving like this. That was not very graceful.
one more full rep, and then we'll hold on the side tabletop. Next time up, we are going to hold. So now we're going to add in that twist. We're going to keep the hips square, though, in the same direction they are, pointing forward. Let's lower that left foot down. On an exhale, we're going to take our right hand to the floor. Inhale, we're going to open it back up. Stretch long through this top leg as you lift and lower. Keep it going. We'll do one more full rep, and then we're gonna hold the twist and that'll transition us into our tabletop. All right, last time we lift the leg, lower, exhale, twist, and now you can twist the hips as well, bringing both knees down, spreading out through the hands. All right, so now our left arm is gonna be the base arm, so spread out through the fingers and then push the mat away. So our shoulder blade is in this slightly retracted or protracted position, not this, okay? And now I want you to take your right arm. You're going to reach it forward, fingertips on the mat, palm faces in, thumb points up. Stay neutral through the spine, long through the back of the neck. You're going to lift the arm up, think bicep by the ear. You're going to start to sweep it down and back, rotating, flipping so that now the palm faces in towards midline, the thumb is pointing down. And then we just reverse it. We sweep it out to the side and up. We lower tap the mat and lift. So we are rotating within the shoulder joint, but we're not rolling that shoulder forward. So you are open through the chest. We are not rounded through the upper back. Oops, you do not need to lower it behind you. I don't know what I was just gonna do there. One more full rep and then we will hold it back. All right, so the next time that arm goes back, I want you to pause. Now you're gonna brace through the core. You're going to lift that opposite left knee off of the mat, maybe hand grabs foot, and then you're gonna create some pressure. You're gonna to start to push the top of your foot away like you're trying to kick that leg straight. As you do, they should lift up a little higher. Now a little extension through the back, absolutely fine, but I don't want you to completely disengage through your core, so we're keeping it subtle. You're here for four, for three, for two, with control, don't slingshot. I want you to release, lower the knee, lower the hand, and we're gonna finish up by just bringing things to center. I want you to tuck your, your toes under. I want you to lift your hips up into a down dog, pressing the heels towards the floor. I want you to bend your knees as you come forward, lower them to the mat, tabletop. And then I want you to shift the hips back, rounding your spine into a shell stretch, so it's like an active child's pose. You're going to rock it forward, elongating the spine to neutral. You're going to lift your hips up into down dog, press the chest towards your thighs. Keep moving like that, forward to tabletop. Round the back, shift your bum towards your heels. Forward, elongate the spine to neutral. Lift the hips, down dog. Let's do that one more time. And this time, when you go back into the child's pose, I want you to untuck your toes. And instead of rounding back, you can just sit your bum to your heels, forehead to the mat. You can relax. You can maybe flip the palms up towards the ceiling. And let's just finish here with a moment of stillness. Three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth.
When you're ready, you can walk those hands in, rolling the spine up tall. That is your quick mobility class. I hope you enjoyed it and are feeling good.